Hey guys, what is up? It's Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending. So you guys have probably noticed that uh, one of my locations having a bill acceptor problem. So this video is about that bill acceptor issue. The kind of the story that went along with it. Um, it really, it took like three weeks for me to make this video because I had to order parts and then I had to order parts again and just all sorts of crazy stuff. So the bill acceptor was broken. I had diagnosed the issue to be the, the uh, uh, belts were not there, so it wasn't accepting bills, and you'll be able to see that in the upcoming clips here. Uh, so I ordered the parts, the parts came in, and let's check out that footage real quick. Not gonna lie, I was getting super irritated about how these belts would not come in. So I got these, these belts right here. I don't even care about the big ones right now. It's these four little ones that I need for that bill acceptor. So we're gonna go replace the. Uh, we're gonna go replace them real quick and see if we can get that bill acceptor working finally, so we can make some flipping money down there. So as you guys could see, um, my beard's gone. I got rid of it. Hmm. Makes me kind of sad. But as you guys could see, that's what the uh, that's what the belts look like. I'm gonna take you to the location real fast and. We're going to start, I'm going to try to show you some stuff. The lighting was really, really bad. I'm going to try to start having a light with me when I go to do this stuff like flashlight or something like that. Um, I definitely want to start getting better footage. So let's go right there and start working on site. All right, I don't know how much light we're going to have here, but we need to pull this guy right off. Let's see, there's nothing in it because it's not working. Okay. Hmm. Go for it. And then there's a little button on the bottom of this. Just pull that button out. And you can see we had a couple of broken bands here. So we're just gonna remove all the bands and put the new bands on. I'll be right back. So these are what the bands look like. And we'll just go ahead and install these on there. All right, so I've got all the new bands on there and I'm gonna grab a dollar bill out of this machine and see if it works. Alright, so we've tried the bill acceptor a couple times and now it's giving us a different code. Now it's tell us, telling us the optical sensor is bad. Oh my gosh. It just works. Hold on, let's try this again. Oh my god, it's working! Success! The bill acceptor is repaired! Woo! Yes! Let's let's bend some yeah, it's working. Now we've thrown stuff everywhere. Let's see if it'll work again. Oh no. As soon as it spit that dollar back out, I was furious. <laughs> right back to square one. Not working. Now we've got a new code on the flippin' bill acceptor. Ugh! Don't do this. You just worked really, oh, coins only, ready. What is it doing? So now it's doing the same thing. This is dumb. This is why we don't buy coin code, guys. This is why we don't buy coin co. Uh, let's see what kind of error we got. We have no errors. It's just staying straight. So it'll come up with an error if we enter it enough times. So it was blinking five times, which means that I'd really like it to do it again. So it's just coins only now. We're just going to leave that dollar in there. One, two, three, four, five. So it's blinking five times. That means that the optical sensors aren't doing their job. So that means we need a new bill acceptor. All right, we'll move on to that. Okay, this is really annoying. Now we have to order a new bill acceptor after ordering parts for that bill acceptor. <sighs> Honey, can you order a bill acceptor? MEI, that's what we want. 
All right, so I just got this in the mail. This is my new Mars bill acceptor. I should probably clarify Mars and MEI are the same company or make the same product. But anyways, let's get back to it. Um, it was supposed to come with a wire harness and it didn't. So a little irritated about that. So we'll sit on this for a little bit and wait for wire harness to come in. All right, guys. What in the world is happening? Okay, so the harness didn't come with a bill acceptor. All right, so I ordered another harness. This is what the harnesses look like, just so you guys have some sort of idea. I also did something else in the midst of all this, and I bid on another bill acceptor on eBay just in case. So now we've got an extra bill acceptor just in case somehow, miraculously, this one doesn't work like everything else we've done here. All right, let's move on. Oh yeah, and now we have all the parts we need to go put this thing together. Okay, so we need to take that back unit, the bill acceptor magazine off in order to get to everything. We're not gonna be able to get to the bolts without doing that. As you can see, it's, this one it's kind of hard to get off. I did get it off eventually. I was hoping to have more light, but I didn't. So that connector goes to the machine itself. This is your MDB connector from machine. The bottom one goes to the coin mech. So we're taking apart the one that goes to the machine right now. And it's kind of hard to do holding the camera at the same time, but now we're going to take the one that goes from the bill acceptor piggyback to the coin mech. And it's as easy as that. It's just pulling that. Now that's the harness that goes to the coin code bill acceptor. There's a couple of nuts back there we have to pull off. And then the whole thing comes right out, which is super easy. <coughs> now we got to use a nine millimeter um, deep well socket to get these out of these three locations, and then you really just put it back in. Um, this machine didn't have any sort of bezel; it just had bolts that you put it in. And I pushed that right in there, and it sat on its own. So you can take the screwdriver and. Uh, I have a screwdriver with a retrofit for a socket, a one-fourth socket, and uh, it's got a nine mil on it with these little bolts. I only use the three. I never put the other one in just because it's kind of a pain. I don't know. Um, and our bill acceptor problem is finally solved. That's the conclusion. All right, guys, so as you can see, that was quite the task, getting everything all sorted out there, getting it good to go. Um, the MEI bill acceptors work so much better. I do have a link in the description below if you guys want to go grab one. Um, sometimes they're cheaper on eBay, but Amazon carries them all the time, which helps me out quite a bit. Um, so this whole task like made me learn something. You need to have spare parts. You really do. I should have just ordered a couple of bill acceptors to begin with because I actually had the capital to do it. Um, but I didn't, I paid the price, and then that account was out for like three weeks doing nothing, making no money whatsoever. Now that, that really upset me. Like I was really, really annoyed with the way that that went. I'm sure you guys would be if you had an account that was just brand new account and it's down for three weeks right after you set it up. Oh man, rough. So from now on, something that I'm going to do is when I go to purchase a snack machine that's second hand, if it has a CoinCo bill acceptor, I'm going to make absolutely sure that I have an MEI on standby just in case I get it on site and it magically stops working because that bill acceptor literally stopped working the day after I put it on site. Not impressed at all. Uh, there's some, some people who swear by them, but I have had zero luck with CoinCo. Um, MEI is what everyone recommended that I go with, MEI Mars, and uh, I've been doing that, and I haven't had any issues since. But, uh, alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. I got a couple more videos that I'm working on, bear with me a little bit. Um, working a couple extra hours now too, so the time is kind of difficult for me. The lighting is really the worst, because we're in the middle of winter in New Hampshire, we have like... A couple of hours of actual light. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Remember to love life and live your dreams. This is Jamie with Farnsworthy Vending out. Love you.